Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. My name's Grub32. Wanted to take a few minutes to show you something I worked on a couple of years ago and I see a lot of people posting and asking questions about this very thing so I wanted to show you my version. We um, spent a lot of time, probably 40 days out of the year RVing. We spent a lot of time going to the beach, going places where our kids can swim and I've seen a couple of different versions of this on the internet. And I wanted to show you mine because I think it's very easy to make and also very cost effective along with being very durable. So as you can see, my version of the towel rack is made out of a half inch conduit with copper unions. And I've taken and built the frames using maple. And I'll show you how this comes together here in just a second, but I want to show you what it looks like first. Um, this is a, a really, really great tool. I think I have a total of about $40 into it, and I even had to buy bits and some other stuff that uh, many of you will probably have. So that's not really a concern for many. But uh, basically, we got nylon clothesline that's here. Um, we have, uh, in my bill of materials that I bought, uh, these are five inch, I'm sorry, five foot pieces of conduit. These come in 10 foot sections. This is about eight feet so this causes you to have to buy two and let me go ahead and just um, take this apart so you can see how it works and then basically uh, the rigid strength of this comes from um, this cross section being attached here now I went and made this a little overkill I'll show you on this side uh, I wouldn't do this again if I was doing it if I had to do it again um, I actually um, in big woodworker so I turn pieces that would fit down inside this union on both sides so it fit very very tightly here see it's very tight on this side uh, that actually fell out even though it was epoxied in there's nothing there and you can see how tight it fits in so it works out really well okay now I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart and then I'll go start to finish using one hand here. I tried to do this video once before using the head um, mount on my GoPro and it was very, very hard to see. So I'm just gonna hold it and take it down and I'm just gonna set it down so you can see the mounts themselves. This one is actually in kind of bad shape. You know, my big mistake here, let me take this off and that way you can see it. The big mistake, as you can see, is that I didn't put a piece of wood across here and I have to just reinforce it. So I'm gonna take a piece, I'm gonna sand this down, glue a block on top and then screw it in on both the top and also the bottom. The next part that's overkill, instead of just drilling a hole, I went ahead and drilled a hole and then I tapped, here we go, sorry. And I actually took a threaded rod and then tapped and screwed it down in here. And if I were to do this again, I'd just drill the hole and put a solid bar in there and it'd be just fine. This thing is super heavy duty. One of the reasons why we decided to build it, my wife and I, as we were at um, Camping World, we saw the, the aluminum version. It was really, really small aluminum pegs that were coming out of here. And there was not a thought in my mind that it was gonna make through uh, some of the tough, cold, windy conditions that we uh, get ourselves into when we're out camping okay now I'm going to show you how to put this all together as you can see we have one side that does not have the turn end one side that does this is absolutely not necessary I'm actually going to take this out to show you even how rigid this would be if it weren't in here okay Take it and put it here and stretch it out, put it there, and then now you can see how rigid this is and how tight the strings are. So again, you know, if I were doing this again, I put in the bill of materials that I would just use two by fours across and down, and I would take the, the piece on top and then screw it down into the side, and I'd do the same thing from underneath. I'd uh, set up a jig to drill this hole exactly at the same angle on both sides and then I would just drop a six inch um, steel rod in there just glue it in with some cheap epoxy do the same thing on the other side 
And the one major change that I would make, uh, this is the hard part because one of these would have to be glued in so that it wouldn't come off, so this piece of copper would not come off. And let's see if I can show you here. That uh, one's not come off as I epoxy it in. What I would actually do is I'd take a small block of two by four, probably two by two, and just drill a hole here and a hole there. And then I'd just friction fit it in there and it would hold just tight. But this worked really well with, um, with actually making a piece of wood, just a little, um, uh, turned down a little, a little cylinder, fits perfectly in there, and then I epoxied it in. This is the, the counter, the opposite side of that, that goes uh, in this one. So it's just a piece of, I don't know what it is, probably maple, I think it was. And then it fits in there, and then I plug it down in there. So this is our towel rack, again, um, I think if I was going to do it again, I would eliminate the threaded rods and I would just put steel rod in there, um, use two by fours, glue it and screw it, and uh, it would be in great shape. So this is just um, a short video that I wanted to share. I think anybody can make one of these. Again, the ones that we were seeing at uh, Camping World were just made out of cheap aluminum. We didn't want to take a chance of having it out there and having it break and having everything blow away. So this is an easy thing to do if you have a, you know, a couple of hours. You can see... Um, we use the nylon. They actually cut too many holes, so I put them about, I don't know, every foot all the way down so that we have four um, strings of uh, where towels can hang. So uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll try and answer them as soon as possible. But again, 25, 30 bucks total, build your own towel rack, make it as big and as strong as you want. So happy RVing. Uh, and